Welcome to iLecture Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the fraction of an object, the portion of an object that is above the surface, as opposed to below the surface. For example, if this is an ice cube, what portion of that ice cube will actually be above the surface of the liquid? Again, we use the same concept that the density of an object is equal to the mass divided by the volume, so we can write that the mass equals the density times the volume. And we're going to need that when we write the following equation. We realize when an object is floating that the density of the object is less than the density of the liquid. Also, that the buoyancy force, which pushes the object up, which keeps it from sinking to the bottom, is going to be equal to the weight of the object. And we know that the buoyancy force also is defined as the weight of the displaced liquid. So we can say that the weight of the displaced liquid is equal to the weight of the object. And we can write the weight of the displaced liquid as m times g of the liquid, now write it sub L, is equal to the m times g of the object. And then we use the substitution here that we can say that the density times the volume times g of the liquid is equal to the density times the volume times g of the object. Now be careful here, and I'll just write, use O for object here. Be careful that what we mean here is that this is the volume of the displaced liquid. That's only the volume of this portion, not the volume equal to the whole object. So these two volumes are not the same. So this is the density of the liquid, the volume of the displaced liquid, of course G is a constant, the density of the object, the volume of the object, and of course we could write G as simply a constant. Well, here we realize that the g's can be canceled out. And then I'm going to write this as the volume of the displaced liquid, the volume divided by the volume of the object, is equal to the density of the object divided by the density of the liquid. And again, v sub l here, and let me write that down. v sub l is equal to the volume of the displaced liquid which is equal to the volume of the portion of the object that's below the surface of the liquid. Now, if this is the fraction that's below the surface, because the volume of the displaced liquid divided by the volume of the whole object, this equals the fraction of the object that's below the surface. Therefore, I can say that 1 minus the volume of the liquid divided by the volume of the object is equal to the fraction above the surface. Now, if 1 minus v sub L over v sub O is the fraction above the surface, I can write it as follows. The fraction above the surface is equal to 1 minus v sub L divided by v sub O. Of course, if v sub L divided by v sub O is equal to the density of the object divided by the density of the liquid, then this can also be written as 1 minus the density of the object divided by the density of the liquid. And so now we can write, if we combine this with this, Let's go over here. We could then say that the fraction, which is above the surface, is equal to 1 minus the density of the object divided by the density of the liquid. Now I could rearrange things a little bit algebraically. I can put this over here divided by a common denominator. So the fraction is equal to the density of the liquid minus the density of the object divided by the density of the liquid. And that would be the best way to write that equation. So if you know the density of the object, and you know the density of the liquid, and if the density of the object is less than the density of the liquid, so that this is a number that's greater than zero, then you have a fraction here which tells you what portion of what fraction of the object is indeed above the surface. As an example, and I'm running out of board space here, but I'll squeeze in a little example here. Let's say that the density of ice is equal to 0 0.9. It's actually slightly less than that. It depends upon what circumstances, of course. But let's say for ease that that's equal to 0 0.9 and that the density of the liquid is equal to 1. Then the fraction of the ice that's above the, the surface or above the liquid would be the density of the liquid, which is equal to the density of the liquid, which is equal to 1, minus the density of the object, 0 0.9, divided by the density of the liquid, which is 1, which is equal to 0 0.1 divided by 1, which is equal to 
So that's how we find the portion of an object that's above the surface if indeed the density of the object is less than the density of the liquid. And that's how it's done.